Hi guys, so welcome to the weekly tarot with Joanne. So this is a weekly forecast. I've already shuffled the cards. I've literally pulled the cards out. I don't know what they are and they're going to cover the next seven days. So from tomorrow to the following Sunday. So let's have a look and see what the universal guidance is for you. So the first one is reflection. So I think they're saying tomorrow, have a nice relaxing day. If there's been anything on your mind, go within, take a bit of time for reflection, relax, have a nice calming, calming pamper day if you can. The next is the Monday. So this is like back to work. So Monday is basically you're going to be in a situation where you need to stay focused. Um, don't procrastinate. So whatever's going on in your life, whether it be work related or home related, stay focused and know that you are in a position to change anything that you want to. If you can see the hackles there, they're not chained. They can actually loosen and walk away. So Monday's guidance is basically, you know, if you need to change something, change something you can, you are in control. So let's have a look at Tuesday. Now this is a rebirth. So whatever's happening, maybe if you do follow that sort of guideline there, this could lead you to something different. Maybe um, opening of a job opportunity, uh, maybe a new hobby that you're thinking, maybe a new relationship. So yeah, so Tuesday is a really, really good positive day. I think if you get yourself in alignment here and focus on what you really want and don't procrastinate, you're then setting yourself up for something really, really good. So, this is the Eight of Pentacles. This is a complete new beginning, guys. This is literally opening you up to something completely new, like uh, the, the page uh, is basically a new beginning, a new step, a new start to something different. Okay, so we've got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and now we're on Thursday. So this is the Page of Swords. So this is amazing. So whatever you're doing financially is going to be a complete new start. So maybe if it is a new job, it's a new start, a new beginning, um, and financially rewarding for you as well. And your mindset as well, you're going to be totally in control. You're going to feel that you're thinking positively, uh, you know where you're going, you're really in alignment. So that's really, really good. So let's have a look. This is Friday. Friday is a happy union. So for whoever this is for, if this resonates with you, and I will do a quick recap as well. Um, and I've just seen a light go past. Um, the universe is saying you are literally, I feel at the very beginning of the week, you've got a bit of a decision to make. Um, but if you get on the, if you follow the right path, then everything's going to follow as you want it to do. This is like a, a new union. So this could be a new partnership, um, a new business opportunity or a new love coming into your life. So let's have a look. And yes, yeah, so this is basically saying that um, you've made, you're in a decision, you're ready to make a decision. So I feel that if you follow all this through and you think to yourself, right, I know exactly where I want to go, you may not be able to put it into action straight away. And it may take the week to progress for you to get it into your mindset, emotionally, um, maybe it's something to do with finances that you can't do until the middle of the week, um, and then it will be the time for you to make the final move, the final decision. Um, but you've got the world in your hands here. So you are in the right space, especially energetically. Uh, you are where you need to be. So whatever's happening, it's all in divine timing. So I'm going to see what the cards come out, the Ace of Cups. So basically, your emotions, are, everything is overflowing and everything is going to work out. So... I'm going to ask the cards if they can confirm what this reading is about. And this is a, can be a difficult one because they don't always, the universe doesn't always want to tie itself down because this is going out to the collective. It's going out to a lot of people. So this could be in alignment with a lot of people, 
but for different circumstances. But the universe is still wanting the same outcome for these people. But And for you guys out there, I mean, sorry. So let's just see if there's anything that they can clarify here. Okay, so the King of Cups. So basically, they're just saying, I think this is to do with emotions. So let me just have a look here. Yeah, King, the Knight of Pentacles. So I think this is a this is a job opportunity. This is something you've been wanting to do. I've just had not necessarily. <laughs> Okay, so I'm trying to narrow it down and maybe the universe doesn't want me to do that. So this could be, if it resonates with you, whether you're looking for a new job, a new relationship, a new partnership, I feel the universe is saying as long as it feels right in here and you feel like you're in alignment and emotionally everything seems great and you feel like you're on board with everything, I feel you're going to be okay. But I am going to ask the question. So, universe, I know I'm a pain, but I'm going to ask a question. Is this relating to work? Can you please help a card jump out here? So, it's going to be a happy, happy, happy outcome, wherever it is. And because there's three involved, I am taking this on board and trying to see what comes through. But I'm feeling it's work. And I'm feeling that maybe you're joining something. You're joining something within a company or you're joining a partnership. And this is something you've been thinking about. And this is why they're saying don't procrastinate, go for it. But it's something that maybe you can't actually put into place until the middle of the week. Um, but as the week goes on, you're going to feel the swords is your mindset. You're going to feel you know exactly where you want to go. By the end of the week, it's where you tell them the decision, the finality of this, the decision you're making and what's going to happen. And this is going to be the outcome. So we're always left to make the decision ourselves. The tarots are our guide, but they're a lovely guide because they will give you an idea of the outcome and the final outcome if you do go down a certain way. We can always change the direction we want to go in if we're not liking the outcome which is the great thing about tarot. But um, yeah, I'm finding that it's all about happy unions and I'm finding that it's all going to be emotionally so stable for you as well. Um, it's all going to be, be built on solid ground um, and Queen of Swords, you're going to be in your own empowerment here as well. So I think this is a definitely, definitely a great reading if you're looking at going into business or if you're looking at starting a new company or if you're looking at anything to do with work, um, I think this is amazing. But as usual, I am going to just ask the universe for one more card to drop out. Just as a final thing, is there anything we need to know? Anything that maybe we just need to be made aware of for our own sake or for the sake of the collective out there, universe, is anything that we may need, they may need guidance on anything we need to know. Walk away from the past and start afresh. So that's the guidance I'm getting. Don't procrastinate, walk away and start afresh because financially I think it's going to work in your favour and emotionally it's going to work in your favour as well. I always say we, we, we you know, sit with our own intuition, see what feels good in here but looking at this alignment throughout the week I really feel you'll notice as the week goes on it'll be like a domino effect and you may be faced with something on Tuesday or around that time Monday Tuesday Wednesday where you've got to make a decision by the end of the week but I'm feeling that you'll know what you want to do and it's going to work out brilliant so all the very best and lots of love and see you next week thank you for another weekly reading thank you bye